I said he was based. I acknowledge the hurt that I'm causing by doing this action that I will continue to do. But look, guys, I feel bad about it. I really feel bad. Am I going to do anything to change? No. Uh, well, at the very least, you took some responsibility. No, please. I ate the world's first dog meat burger. Here's how it tastes. Yeah, there's gonna be a twist, isn't there? I cannot believe this. For the first time in my life, I'm about to eat a dog meat burger. Hopefully, yes, what I'm holding burger, right now is a burger made out of dog meat. But before some of you sensitive people get angry at me, listen, this is 100% ethical. Yeah. A small family-run business has made it possible to Wait, produce ethical dog burgers. They source their meat from sustainably <coughs> raised dogs. Why? Unlike chickens, the free-range organic puppies never received antibiotics. They had access to green pastures. <laughs> I can guarantee you that they were humanly slaughtered. And on top of all of that, these ethical dog burgers have amazing nutritional benefits, oh, yeah. so it might revolutionize the way we eat in the future. What the fuck? And so now. It's Elwood, is it? It's, I think oh, it's this into one, uh... the most awaited moment. How does an ethical dog burger is. taste? Is it possible for it to become mainstream food? Hopefully. Whew, okay, this is exciting. I'm gonna just jump right into it. I'm not like a crazy burger person, so I'm gonna go for the easier one. Let me take a bite and see what is the taste. Okay, it actually okay. tastes quite similar to a beef burger. Oh, lovely. Mm, it's very, very juicy. Mm, a combination juicy. between beef and chicken. Oh, lovely. It's very lean. This is good. Lean. Now, here's the crazy thing about this small family business. They are called Elwood's Organic yeah. Dog Meat. <laughs> and because they are a local farm, they really know each one of the dogs. They Man, they are doing some good work. They really are. They're getting people thinking. And it, it's hilarious because people get so fucking mad. <laughs> They're like, how dare you? And then they talk like a vegan. Well, not even that. They're like vehemently like, <laughs> even like more militant than vegans. Harvest, you know exactly <sighs> what you get. Apparently the burger I got is from a two year old Chihuahua named Chewy. She Chewy. was very energetic in her Aww. early months. I mean, they say that. And that explains why the meat is so lean. Aww. They even have different I options see. like pack bacon, Labrador steaks, ground corgi, mm. beagle bologna, and Siberian oh, husky bologna. pack chops. <gasps> wow. wow. Guys, really, based on the taste, and on how many dogs there are in the world, I can totally see how this food can become mainstream. Yeah. Hmm. Taste like. Also, I can totally see how some of you here are totally confused right now. In <laughs> fact, many people left this video because they must have been so angry yeah. at me for eating a dog meat. After all, they will say dogs are smart. They're kind, loyal, loving, playful, blah, 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 blah. I don't care. Cows are considered <laughs> to be even smarter than dogs. Pigs in some ways can be even more intelligent than free year old old kids. Chickens can remember past events, dream, empathize, and even do math. And sheep are capable of problem solving. So why would anyone make a big deal about eating dogs, right? Well, I need to be honest with you. These are not real ethical dog burgers. Please. This is an experiment Please. to expose how we as a society ah. live with a lot of selective empathy. Yes. That's the confusion, feelings of guilt, inner conflict you just felt right this moment because you feel connected <laughs> to dogs are the same voices that you try to shut down in your head whenever you justify eating other- Dude, this- 
This has 2.4 mil million subscribers. This is such a base video. Love, Elwood's. Chicken the lad tipped one pound. When he said chickens can can dream and remember past events, I had a sudden chill to my spine. Uh, yes, it's, it's grim, isn't it? The capabilities of animals who we are sending off to just be murked, exploited, it's just uh, sickening. And then, you know, vegans are the weird ones. Yeah, vegans, yeah, God, stupid. You care about chickens? <laughs> Idiot. Crazy person. Yeah, right. Thank you, chicken. I appreciate the tip. Yes, people thinking. Wait, you may want to debate him? What? Oh no! Am I gonna be upset? Am I gonna be mad? Uh, fine, okay, whatever. Types of animals. Because truth is, in times of factory farming and mass meat consumption, whether it's a dog or a cow, there is no such thing as an ethical murder. So to be clear, I'm not here to force you to stop eating meat, no. Uh, I understand that many of you simply cannot do this because of your circumstances or whatever else. But... What circumstances or whatever else? Oh, man, look. I had hope. This right here is a case study. For why you don't comment before you watch the video, right? At the very least, the next time you take a bite of that juicy burger, take responsibility for your choices and... Oh my god, no! No, 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 no! Oh my god! No! Bitch! If that were actually the bodies and secretions of dogs, you wouldn't be like... You know, next time... <laughs> you know, if you do want to chow down on the bodies of these dogs just take responsibility for it how the fuck i, I, I just don't I just, how does that help the victims at all going i acknowledge the hurt that i'm causing by doing this action that i will continue to do but look guys i feel bad about it i really feel bad am i gonna do anything to change no Oh, well, at the very least, you took some responsibility. No, please. I said he was based. I said he was based and he did this to me. This is betrayal. I feel like I've just been in a shit relationship. You made me delete my comment. Understand that a living, thinking, feeling creature lost their lives so that you could eat. And that creature deserves empathy but <laughs> he was so close yet so far no <laughs> you made me do this <laughs> i'm deleting my comment you know what hurts more than anything is when you are so close yet so far away okay that's that's when it hurts the most <laughs> Daniel Beer the lad tipped one pound. It was so close to be very based, harnessing the power of Elwoods and then it went down very fast. Oh, Daniel. <laughs> Man, thank you for the tip. I, right, look, new comment, I guess. If that were actually a dog, someone was deciding to chow down on, I don't think that we'd be calling for people to at least take responsibility as they contribute to the rights violations of their group. I really hope this gets people thinking, but in this very video we saw the inconsistent considerations we have for animals and their autonomy. I can't be disappointed any longer. This is my fault, okay? My fault. I expected something better. And that's on me. Shit. Okay, moving on, moving on.